welcome to our show. I am Angelica and I'm Tinka and we are your host for today. Hello partner, how's your day? I'm fine partner and Christmas is coming. Yes, and Christmas is for family. And now, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa story ng isang OFW since malapit na ang Pasko. Kumustayin natin ang ating kababayan kung, ang kanyang, kung ano ang kanyang masasabi sa karanasan niya habang siya ay nasa abroad. And now, let's welcome our guests. Hello, Ate Yen. Hello, Ate Yen. So today, may mga viewers na may mga kaunting katanungan tungkol sa karanasan ng isang OFW. Ang si Ate Yen, bilang isang guest, ay sasagutin niya ang mga katanungan na ito. Hello everyone! Good morning! Ngayon, may katanungan ako sa aming guest na si Ma'am Yen kung ano ba ang naging dahilan niya sa pag-iibang bansa niya. Hello everyone! Hello Ate Yen! May kaunti lang ako katanungan about you. So, sa ang lugar ka ba ng ibang bansa at ilang taon ka ba doon? Thank you, Miss Angelica and Twinkle, for this interview. Um, yes, I am Rinera Sigian, an OFW in Dubai and Saudi Arabia. So my experience in Dubai is it was not easy. And then in Saudi, because nung time na tinapos ko yung yung <coughs> trabaho ko in Dubai, then I went back to Philippines and. After that, uh, a few months, so I decided to going back to Saudi Arabia. So I've been working abroad for almost six years, and now I am totally grateful for what I am now today. Thank you for that question, Miss Mambet, for that. Uh, yung dahilan ko kung bakit ako nag abroad because. I want to help my family in support. So, nag nag decide talaga ako mag-abroad para tulungan yung mga family ko sa hirap ng buhay. And then, you know, and yeah, and when I when I going back to Saudi Arabia, it was a challenge for me because I experiencing a lot uh, you know, yung time na yun is ano Hindi naman talaga totally harassment yung ginawa sa akin ng ni ano yung amo ko dati sa Saudi Arabia. Because actually he really he really liked me and absolutely na hindi dapat that that is was wrong. Hindi dapat pwede na makakagusto ko sa isang tao which is, um, so hindi ka dapat magkakagusto sa taong kasal na. So so that time, yung amo ko is really want me to extend the contract. So, ay, hindi ko tinuloy yun dahil ayoko na. Inap na yun sa akin yung, yung, yung ginawa niya sa akin. Pero, he apologized for me a lot. He censored the apologize. So, yung that time na yun, hindi na ako nag-extend ng kontrata. Kasi, alam ko sa sarili ko na I can handle it with myself. So, that time when I finished uh, dalawang kontrata, so, nag-decide ako umuwi ng Pilipinas for good. And here, I am working in Robinson's supermarket as cashier. So, although matagal-tagal na yung pagtatrabaho ko, so, I never decide to going back to abroad. So, to all out, so, to all out there na who want to go back abroad or gustong mag-abroad, so, I will not discourage you. Lahat naman siguro may kanya kaya tayo ng swerte sa buhay. So, ipagpantuloy nyo yan, yung mga pangarap nyo sa buhay, yung, yung time nyo na gusto nyo tulungan yung family nyo. So, here, actually, nakainap na ako. Nakaano na ako ng bahay. And then, I nakabili din ako ng sasakyan so so inap na yun sa akin and i am very grateful and contented of what i am now so all, again i am now as as mother to my daughter Gianna 
So napaka napaka swerte ko na sa buhay. So hindi na ako hindi ko na kailangan ng kung ano-ano man. Uh, yung ano gusto, gusto ko yung pagmamahal ko na lang sa anak.